Okay, as they would say in the Grand Tour, sit rep. I'm sitting here in the Institute, having found out a whole bunch of stuff, which if you're not ready to find out this stuff, spoiler alert, we get to find out what really happened to the baby from Fallout 4. Of course, most of you know, uh, mother and baby, or father and baby, depending on which character you choose. We're going to use the, the mother reference for our gameplay, because that's what we're doing. Um, mother's holding on to baby in what they think is a decontamination chamber. It turns out to be a cryo chamber. And everybody gets frozen for, let's say, 140 years? 140 years. Bad man come. Opens up the cryo chamber with the baby, takes the baby, shoots the mother. Closes everything up, mocks the father, free freezes him. Sixty odd years later, for whatever odd reason, father here is uh, unfrozen, released into the wild to look for his baby, and learns a lot of things about this real boogeyman organization called the Institute. And of course, if you didn't guess it, your son is the head of the Institute. Hooray. So what's it like finding out your kid is basically, you know, the worst thing going? Well, I imagine that's a lot to absorb. And here we have the guy absorbing it. And you're thinking, where are you going with this Black Knight? Well, there's a couple. The, the big things, yes. Your son's 60 years old now. He's the head of the most evil organization. At least that's what's presented to you, that they're the most evil, evil organization or eagle organization in the Commonwealth. The director of the Institute has to be the ultimate bad guy, and he's your son. Now what do you do? And it's not just a matter of do you join the bad guys or, or not. I mean, that, there is a matter of that, I'm sure. But it's the stuff that was revealed in that conversation beyond, oh, I'm your son. No, your son's not 10. Your son is 60. Um, yeah, but I mean, your son has been the boss of the man who killed your wife for probably, what, a good 10 years? How long has he been the director? He, he knows what this guy did. He has an army of robots that could probably tear him apart, you would think. I mean, unless they think this guy is that dangerous. So what does he do? He sits back and thinks, hmm. If I look at these computer files, my, uh, my dad was something in the military. You're giving, at the beginning of the game, you're giving a speech to a bunch of veterans. Now, why would that happen? Some kind, maybe he's a Medal of Honor holder. You know, some kind of, you know, really excellent soldier. Something along the line, that lines. You know, a hero of Anchorage. I, I don't know what the guy did before the war. You know, or during the war. Before the big war. But, I mean, he did something. Because he's, hey, I got an idea. Let's let him out. He's going to have to be pissed. He'll probably kill Kellogg. And if he doesn't, we'll move on to the next thing. And so he tells you, he tells you, was it an accident that your path crossed with Kellogg's? I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. He set you up. Now, he presented like it was a way for them both to get a bit of vengeance, but why would you do that? You've got the resources of the Institute at your disposal. Why would you use your own flesh and blood to go after a complete crazy person that you're not even sure you could kill? This is, that's dark. That's like, I just don't care. You're disposable. And uh, it gets worse than that. It gets worse than that because he, uh, he says he needs you. He says he wants you to join the Institute. And because he really needs you for some big things that are going on. But the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? What does he need you for? For science? Well, I mean, you've gotten really good at building settlements at this point in the game. I mean, you know, 
your science levels might be pretty high. But I mean, it's not like you were a scientist before the war. I don't think that was has anything to do with it. Does he need you for accounting? Hmm? Organizational skills? Where is the opening in the Institute? Someone's got to fill Kellogg's shoes. They still need a Kellogg. They just want one who's less crazy. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. They just want one they can control better. And what better way to have, you know, your killer, your professional killer, your assassin, be under control than to be listening to the direction of his own son. The man you're looking at is a tool. He's just a tool of whatever organization he gets put into. That's true of the Minutemen, really. Oh, we have to go save another... It's, a, it's good guy stuff. He's a general. He's not calling shots. He's being told where to go, and he goes, goes and does it. Same with the railroad. Same with the Brotherhood of Steel. That's the game mechanic, let's be honest. That's how follow games work. You bounce from... You know, one quest to another. And there's nothing wrong with that. Unless you live in it. This guy's being asked, or if he hasn't been asked yet, that's what's going to come up. They're not giving him a lab coat and clean clothes. Ah, oh, that armor works for you. Ballistics you got grades weave in there. That's nice. That'll do well. Because you got places to go and people to kill. For us now. So what do you do? You found your son. The whole purpose of your existence was finding your son. Your wife's gone. And yes, you've made friends and you've built relationships. But nothing like that. Nothing's, you know... Alright, are you that close to Piper? You know? Do you have a child with Piper? Who happens to be running the Institute? I mean, is... you? Yes, you can build that relationship, but it's going to take a long time. At this point in the game, you don't have it. I mean, look at this dude. He's wearing some of that armor. It looks like it was made in a in a toilet uh, a toiletries factory here. Like you know, we use the same high quite grade quality plastic as the commodes. I mean, it does have kind of a stormtrooper look too. So now that's you can conflate those two things: stormtroopers and toilet lids. That's just you know, you're welcome. He's got just bits of metal on one arm. He's thrown himself together as best he can to fight a dangerous world to find his son. Now he finds his son. His son doesn't care really about the fact that his mother was killed, calls it collateral damage. You can say, well, I never really knew her, and I've had 60 years to think about it. Well, I don't know. I don't know that I get over that in 60 years. He's happy Kellogg's dead. Well, that's nice, but is he happy Kellogg's dead because it's vengeance? Is he happy Kellogg's dead? Because that's one problem he doesn't have to solve now because he was getting too wild. So here we have a man who's just had just about everything he understood pulled out from under him. Now what do you do? Doesn't matter at this point. Is he facing now the complete loss of his son because he doesn't have... He doesn't have a son he can raise. Someone else raised his son into turned him into a cold, cold-hearted man. A statue of ice. Spock logical. It, it wasn't right what they did. Taking you from me like that. To you, that would certainly seem true. But to the Institute. It made all the sense in the world. <sighs> People say things will be completely better if we just turn ourselves over to science. Oh, science has all the answers. This, if this is what that happens with, you know, I mean, it's, if science says, well, look, this is the proper outcome, so we're just going to 
do whatever is necessary. So, you got two paths here. Follow your son, do what he tells you. Kill a whole bunch of people that you were probably friends with before. Or kill your son. Because he's so far beyond anything that should exist. A man in power with no compassion. Who can't be taught compassion, he's too old. Or can he? Can you teach him compassion? See, that's the one thing that I would have liked to have seen out of this game, is that path. Save the Institute from its own evil, and I don't think you get that option. You get to either join the evil, or you get to destroy it. And the one thing you wanted is part of that. Don't get me wrong. It's a great story. A great conundrum. And now as I go through the Institute, I'm going to have to figure out exactly what the Institute is. And figure out which path to take. You see, there's no real 100% good guys, except the Minutemen. They're not that interesting. They just, you know, hey, we just want to help people. You know, they don't really ever approach the do the Minutemen just want power for power's sake, too. I'm sure there's some element of that. Of course, you don't, just don't see that in Preston, really. Now maybe they are just pure good guys. But you don't have to destroy the Minutemen. In any of the endings. No matter what happens, the Minutemen go on. So who goes on with them? That's what we have to decide here. So call me Kellogg. Even if I don't work for the Institute... How different am I? How many people have I killed? This guy, speaking from the voice of this character. I haven't... By the way, time out. I haven't killed anybody. Black Knight over here has not killed anyone. Um, time back in. But, how? you know, he's got to be sitting there thinking, well, he wants me to be Kellogg. He wants me to be Kellogg. And he thinks I'd be good at it. And Kellogg was everything in the world that had to be destroyed. Well, now what? You know, there's probably another option here. You know, kind of the real option. If you get yourself out of the Institute, stop walking and stop, you know, walking the path of the main plot here and just go build settlements or something. Go farm. Let things go the way they will, but that's not how video games work. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna go to a, uh, a conclusion here. We're gonna pick something, and you'll get to watch. And on that note, this is the Black Knight. Call me Kellogg, and have a great night. Okay, so I guess I guess we just have a cow on the roof now. That's like a thing. <laughs>